This is an artificial head used for binaural audio recordings. Simply put, it's two microphones giving you the illusion to be exactly at the spot this head is placed. It lets you know not only if something is left or right from you, but also whether it's in front, behind, over or below you. I've always been fascinated with these kinds of microphones, but never really had the chance to play around with them, as these are usually quite expensive. But today, I'm going to attempt to build a binaural microphone myself for under 350 bucks using these DJI mics. If this actually works, it gives us the possibility to get a surround sound feel on a budget using only two microphones and no post-production. In order to hear the results, you will need to put on some headphones. Here's an example of what we want to achieve, recorded on a professional binaural setup. The way this works, with only using two microphones, is the same way our ears work. You would think it's the amplitude of a sound that tells us where the sound is coming from, right? I mean, that's basically how you pan a sound in a stereo mix. Well, that's not wrong, but it's also just one of a few aspects that makes the illusion complete. There's also a slight delay, as when the sound comes from one direction, it gets to the ear that's closer to the source quicker than to the one that's further away. This delay is very little, but it can help our brain locating the sound better. Lastly, there's also a certain way our ears shape the frequencies of a sound depending on the direction it comes from. In a way, they work like an equalizer. If a sound comes from behind us, it gets filtered differently than when it comes from the side or from the front. So, with all that knowledge, how can we recreate the same effect using the DJI mics? Well, it should be rather simple as we just need to stick on two ears and make the distance similar to a human head. But where can we get ears? Great, now we have those, let's put it all together. So there we have it. It looks kind of weird, but that's fine. As long as it works. So does it work? You see, I tested it out and it worked quite well. So I set out to record my conclusion and give you an example of what it sounds like. But then something went wrong. I must have messed up the settings of the mics or something. And it also didn't help that I wasn't able to put on a windshield or that I was probably a bit too far away. As I said, this also doesn't work equally for everybody. You probably have a hard time if it... Ugh. Anyway, I did get it to work eventually, but before you get to hear it, remember that it's essential to put on some headphones and subscribe to the channel. Jokes aside, this project turned out to be a bit more work than I expected and there are a few things that I'd love to improve, like replacing the ears for the silicon ones that apparently you could just buy on Amazon. I'd also love to do more projects like this in the future, and if you show your support, it will help me with that so much more than you might think. But now, this is what we got. I was actually pretty surprised of the results. I think replacing the ears will improve it a bit more, but I'm already quite happy with what we got out of this simple setup. Usually binaural audio isn't used that much besides for testing purposes, as it's so limited to only work with headphones. You'll also have difficulties locating the sound if the shape of your ears is too different from the artificial ones used for the recording. You might not even be able to tell if a sound comes from the front or from behind. But with a cheap wireless system like this, using a set of microphones many filmmakers and content creators already have in the kit, who knows, maybe we might just see a comeback of binaural audio. Bye.